Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our scenario planning workshop. I'm delighted to be here to guide you to a strategic exploration using an intuitive logic approach. Our goal is to navigate uncertainties and prepare for a variety of possible futures. And let's embark on this journey together to enhance our strategic thinking and decision making. Today's agenda is designed to introduce the basics of scenario planning and to even more delve into its practical applications. We'll explore a methodological approach that involves all of you actively, ensuring that each theoretical element we discuss is directly applied to a group work. Our session spans two intensive days of engagement. Each day is structured around a blend of lectures and interactive group activities, carefully planned to ensure a seamless integration of learning with a practical applications. From initial introductions to the final recap, we're gonna build our knowledge and skills progressively. By the end of this workshop, you're gonna understand the significant impact of uncertainty on strategic planning. We're gonna cover the scenario planning process in detail, equipping you with the skills to apply these strategies effectively within your own roles and organizations. Let's address some FAQs to set the stage for our workshop. All the components, including the online exercises you can find easily on Infinite Learning Management System, are crucial for a holistic learning experience. We have designed the workshop to be comprehensive as possible. We'll begin with a reflection on a several historical predictions that famously misses the mark. These examples highlight the inherent risk of relying solely on a linear forecasting approach and underscore the necessity for a scenario planning approach that anticipates multiple future outcomes. For example, in 1977, Ken Olson, who co-founded Digital Equipment Corporation, the EASY, attended a convention of the World Future Society, and he said that there's no reason for any individual to have a computer in their home. Look at what's happening today. Even more, we have a supercomputer and even extraordinary AI is using a chatbot to do everything. Our focus today includes thoughts to capture and to understand and to develop foresight about uncertainties. Utilizing non-traditional strategic tools, this approach will help us to identify key uncertainties and transform them into a structural exploration of future scenarios. Let's cast your minds back to a time when the future was imagined through a lens quite different today, where our kittens are automated wonderlands preparing a breakfast at the press of a button. Said the night before, this, ladies and gentlemen, was a vision of convenience and precision. Envision, if you will, the revolutions in a communications, not only what we hear voices across big distances, but we will see faces, share the comments, and traverse the globe through the screens in front of us. The synchronous satellites, once mere figments of imagination, were envisioned to connect us in ways we could scarcely believe. Imagine stepping away from the embraced nature, creating our own controlled environment, interiors bedded in the gentle glow of electroluminescent panels. They are huge changing with a mere touch. This future spoke of customization at our fingertips, blending technology with aesthetic. Consider robot brain vehicles, charging courses to our designated locales. This notion perfect the way for autonomous travel long before it appeared on the horizon of possibility. In the world of AED 2014, it was foreseen that machines would surpass humans in performing routine tasks, reshaping education and our roles in society. These foresight were not mere fantasy. They were the prediction of thinkers who dare to dream about the age we live in now. Reflect for a moment. Can you guess the visionary who looked forward through time with such audacity? The answer, yes, might surprise you. These were the prediction of a man called Isaac Asimov an American writer and professor of biochemistry at Boston University. But more than the accuracy of his prediction, he 
is the change in the mindset. They provoke that whole true value for us today. We learn that predicting the future is not about being right or wrong. It's about inspiring the kind of innovative thinking that drives us forward. In the 1960s, a visionary mind speculated about the year 2014, offering predictions that plan seamlessly with the scenario planning workshop that we explore today. Is that Asimov envisioned a future where automated kitchens, advanced communication systems, and self delivered vehicles were part of everyday life? These predictions highlight key elements we consider in scenario planning workshop, such as technological advancement, changes in social behavior, and the evolving relationship between humans and machines. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's consider the foresight process in the absence of traditional strategy tools. Let's imagine our world where events unfold, capturing our attention, but leaving us grappling with their implications. This is the realm of uncertainty where predictions fatal and the expected gives way to the surprising. Here we emphasize the foresight process as depicted by happiness and paper in 2015. It begins by capturing events as they emerge, gaining an understanding of these events, and ultimately developing a foresight of uncertainty outcomes. This process aligns closely with Asimov's visions, where predicting specific technological advancement was not the sole objective, rather than it was understanding the impact of these technologies would have on society. In this point, we're gonna delve deeper into the foresight process. We illustrate how to move from identifying factors, F1, and uncertainties uh, from U1 to UN, yeah, and their impacts, FI. These frameworks allows us to systematically approach what at first may appear to be an ambiguous feature. Each element, be it an event, technological advance, or social change, become a piece of the puzzle. By following discipline's approach, we identify the key pieces, understanding their potential impact and the uncertainty they carry on. So we craft like a mosaic, where every piece of influence the other, constructing a comprehensive picture of the future. These methods step in the discipline imaginations rather than relying on predictions. So these sections will showcase the increasing popularity and relevance of scenario planning in the strategic management field. We have a compelling visual representation of the trend in strategic planning. Notice that significant uptick in the adoption of scenario planning between 2000 and 2007. This graph not only reflects a surge in popularity, but also an evolving understanding of its value in strategic management. The increase corresponds with the realization that traditional planning often falls short in the face of volatility, ambiguity, and uncertainty. Senior planning has risen as a response to the need for more dynamic and flexible study frameworks that can contend with the rapid changes and complexities of the global business landscape. So we are going to present with a powerful example of scenario planning in action. Here we see the past prediction of global oil demands contrasted against actual usage. The stock divergence from the estimated demand line post 1973 on expected trends. This graph serves as a testament to the importance of scenario planning. Shell, renowned for the strategic foresight, utilizes scenario planning yeah, that we call as Shell Scenario. This historical context sets the stage for our explorations into scenario planning, emphasizing the need to prepare for a range of possibilities rather than relying on single predictive model. Following that, we're gonna dive into the stock -like approach to scenario planning. We're gonna cover each of the eight detailed steps. So let's begin by defining this object below. So the sequel represents more than a shape. It embodies the fundamental principle of perceptions of the human that is core to scenario planning on how we understand about the features. It illustrates that our understanding of the future, much like our interpretations of the shape, can vary widely depending on our perspective, our values, assumptions, or even cultures. So, can these objects be the same? We shift from a circle to a square, prompting us to challenge our initial perceptions. This is analogous to scenario planning, 
where we must recognize that a single uncertainty can manifest in various forms. It's a lesson in considering multiple interpretation and outcomes, preparing us for the complexity of external ecosystem. And finally, that's the answer. Yeah. So here, the object's true nature is revealed by its shadow, providing all clarities, challenging our initial assumptions, our beliefs. This visual metaphor is a powerful in scenario planning. It reminds us that uncertainties in the external environment are often a matter of perception. But shifting our viewpoint as scenario planning requires us to do, we uncover different aspects of the same uncertainty that allows us to better anticipate and plan for various future status. So in the live session, we are going to discuss a real-world case study, so-called hypobat projects, and you will practice identifying key drivers, clustering them, and framing scenarios. And we are going to conclude with creating narratives that vividly describe these potential features, ensuring that the scenarios are both understandable and useful for strategic planning. As we progress through each section, let's maintain a keen focus on the broader implication of our learning. Scenario planning is not just about the predicting future, but about preparing to meet it with informed strategic responses. I encourage you all to participate actively and bring your insight into our discussions. Before I end up this slide, let us now discuss the limitations in traditional strategic planning approach. These approaches often fail to accommodate that complexity and rapid change that characterize our modern business ecosystem. Understanding these limitations is crucial as it underscores the necessity for innovative tools like scenario planning. Reflecting on prior engagement with scenario planning can provide valuable insight. Those who have previously used scenario planning often recognize its benefit in handling uncertainty more effectively compared to traditional approaches. And today, we aim to build on these experiences and enhance our proficiency in scenario planning. Scenario planning comes highly recommended by colleges, consultants, for its efficacy in strategic foresight. It helps us to see the big pictures, broadening our strategic thinking, and improving our ability to assess the external environment, thereby enabling us to engage with complexity at a much deeper level. Our goal for using scenario planning is multifold. We aim to broaden our strategic thinking, develop a better grasp of the future ecosystem, and enhance our ability to navigate through complexity. This will ultimately aid us in developing more robust corporate and business strategies. So let's discuss the tangible outcomes of previous scenario planning interventions. Participants have reported improved strategic conversation using narratives, deeper understanding of strategy, and the assumptions behind it, and a more diverse approach to developing new strategies, products, and services. We are going to explore the expanded strategic client approach to scenario planning in this workshop. This method includes the setting the agenda on the stage one and determining driving forces on the stage two and clustering these driving forces on the stage three and developing scenarios on the stage four and the rest of them we're gonna develop our scenarios, developing narratives, so on and so forth. So we're gonna set up the agenda on the step one. These steps involve understanding the organization context and identifying the key forces that will shape the future. It's crucial to set clear boundaries for our scenario planning interventions and to identify the most significant uncertainties that we need to address. All in all, I would say thank you for all your active participations and thoughtful contribution over these two days. I hope you live here not only with a deeper understanding of scenario planning, but also with practical tools and frameworks that you can apply directly to your strategic challenges. Let's continue to think creatively and prepare robustly for whatever the future may hold.